together. Just on Israel and Gaza, can you say anything about the Israeli response to the Hamas response to the ceasefire proposal? Lots of responses. Yeah. So no surprise to y'all. I'm not going to negotiate here from the podium in public. Um, I would just tell you that um, there has been some back and forth. As you know, we have a team in Cairo right now that includes Brett McGurk and the director of the CIA. Um, they're meeting with their Egyptian, uh, Israeli, uh, and uh, Jordanian counterparts, and there'll be follow-on discussions after that uh, over the next few days. Um, look, we've been working this very, very hard, and there are still some gaps that remain in the two sides and the positions. But we wouldn't have sent a team over there if we didn't think that we had a shot here, and we're going to take every shot we can uh, to see if we can't get this ceasefire deal in place. Within days? I, I, I couldn't give you a date, sir. Israel has conducted the largest seizure of land in the West Bank, which undermines the president's vision for two-state solution. So why the White House have been not mum on that? And will the president... Yeah, not, it's not that we've been mum. There, there was a... There's, there, we have, we, there was a statement put out by the State Department. Um, uh, about this call for settlements. We continue, nothing's changed about our view that settlements continue to be counterproductive to peace and stability and, and the possibility of a two-state solution. We don't support that. Okay, um, and second, you mentioned about the uh, Ukraine and Russia in terms of the civilian casualties. The UN said today that actually half of the facilities of UNRWA has been hit and 520 people have been killed in addition to the aid workers. So do you still believe that Israel is doing what it takes to protect uh, civilian lives, including women and children? We certainly believe that they need to continue to do more to protect innocent civilian life. Yeah, but they're not doing much. I mean, we've been, I've been asking this question for nine Your months. Your question wasn't about what they're doing or not doing. Your question was, do we believe that they should do more? My answer is yes, well, they need to do more to protect civilian life. And we're going to continue to have conversations with them uh, about how they're prosecuting these, these operations. Thanks, John. Um, just sticking with the Middle East, but connecting up to the other um, big story. At the, uh, during the ABC News interview on Friday, uh, George Stephanopoulos asked the President, was he, quote, the same man today that you were when you took office three and a half years ago? And the President's reply began, in terms of successes, yes, I was also the guy who put together a peace plan for the Middle East that may be coming to fruition. Now, it may or may not be coming to fruition, uh, we don't know. We do know 38,000 people have been killed in Gaza, almost 2 million displaced, and according to UNICEF, one in three children on the age of two um, is suffering from acute malnutrition. Does the President consider his Gaza policy a success? The President believes uh, wholeheartedly that this ceasefire proposal that we are trying to get done will make a big difference in terms of not only temporarily ceasing hostilities, but potentially giving us an opening to end this conflict. Um, it's important to remember how this started. And you talked about our, our Gaza policy. Our, I'll, I'll, I'll state it for you again. We want to make sure Israel has a right to defend itself from the kinds of attacks it suffered on the 7th of October, which I know is easy for people to forget. 1,200 people slaughtered, at, most at a music festival. Number two that Israel is doing everything they can to protect innocent civilian life. Is it enough? No. They need to continue to do more. And that we are doing everything we can to give humanitarian assistance into the people of Gaza. That's our Gaza policy. Uh, and as the President has also said, we would be and will still continue to be willing to adjust the policies uh, that we uh, that we are executing with respect to Gaza as we see things unfold on the ground. But the broader question was, does he consider his policy to have been successful? Israel is defending itself against a terrorist attack, so we can check that off. Humanitarian assistance continues to flow. In fact, if it wasn't for the United States, uh, I dare say that n not, not a fraction of the humanitarian assistance that get, is getting into Gaza would get in. Is it enough? No. And the Israelis have taken some steps to be more precise, more discriminant, and more careful in their operations. Is it enough? No. So we're going to keep at it. We're going to keep working on this. Is it enough? No. The president described Israel as bombing, ind indiscriminate bombing in December. Seven months have passed, and you have paused one arm shipment, as I understand it. Is that fair? That's right. What's your, is there a question here? 
do you think that that's an effective response to indiscriminate bombing of a civilian population? It's never right to be uh, conducting indiscriminate bombing of a civilian population. That's why we continue to work with the Israelis to be more precise, to be more careful. All right, just a couple more. Sorry, sorry. Uh, hi, Admiral. Um, can I um, just start with the Middle East as well? Uh, Hamas has accused Netanyahu of putting obstacles uh, in the way uh, of the ceasefire deal that is being talked about now. Um, does the U.S. think that Netanyahu's government is doing everything it can to secure the ceasefire deal? We're working hard to get that ceasefire deal in place. I'm not going to negotiate here from public, in public or talk about who's saying what and who's doing what. We have seen both sides now, as Andrea rightly asked in her question, we've seen both sides come out with some public statements with respect to the text. The last thing I'm going to do is, is get into bartering here. We're trying to close those gaps as best we can. We wouldn't have sent the CIA director or Brett McGurk to Cairo if we didn't believe it was worth a shot and worth a chance.